Hello everybody, welcome to another pick a card reading. So today we're doing part two, do they love you or not? So watch this video if you already watched first part or it could be just a different group of people I'm talking to, I honestly have no idea. This is option number one, option number two and option number three, meditate, concentrate, make your choice and I'll see you at a timestamp. Once again, it's one, two and three. So hi everybody and anyway so let's do this pick a card for e let's start with everybody who chose pile number one i'm just hoping that my cards won't fly away it's really windy here and inside my room the light is really bad which is why i'm recording this outside so anyway guys for those of you who picked pile number one your first card is nine of cups do they love you or not what can bring you two together I have here ten of swords we have here shaman of stars we have here Shaman of Foresight. We have here Hunter of Mystery. So, wow. We have here also New Hope for the Future. Have Hope for the Future. New Energies are coming in. We also have here Abundance. We have Three of Cups. We have the World. And we have Four of Wands. Wow. Okay. This energy is very, very interesting. So, I think that you probably even had a relationship with this person. Um, I have a feeling that maybe... I have a feeling maybe you even had committed relationship with this person or if you, you know for sure that you didn't have a relationship with this person I think they were married or you were married at some point I have a feeling that one people in this connection is very strongly related to mysticism, astrology, spirituality because we have Hunter of Mysteries, Shaman of Stars and Shaman of Foresight so you are actually probably the person who is either very closely associated with this kind of people, like you might be consulting, watching readers a lot, maybe you yourself are a reader. It's very, very likely that you yourself could be actually a reader. And it's almost like for you, this situation, when you met this person, it felt like you met soulmate. Maybe some of you even predicted it, that you were going to meet this person at some point. So at first it felt like you met a soulmate, but there were also things that happened. It was brutal endings. So for you, it was very hard to kind of like accept everything that happened because you are like, but I thought they were my soulmate. I thought I'm meeting my soulmate. And chances are, yes, they are your soulmate. And again, of course, I'm not, by the way, I never like to confirm or deny it if people are soulmates or not because I believe it's very, very like spiritual knowledge and it's just not ethical in my what point of view to confirm or deny such things who am i to tell you if it's your soulmate or not honestly like <laughs> really like keeping it real keeping it real 2018 going into 2019 but anyway i think that this person does have feelings for you and they even you probably shared good times together there was like feeling of happiness feeling of abundance some of you even traveled together with this person and i think you too could probably in your sinistry chart have significant uh jupiter connection not sure where it is exactly but you two can create abundance together so your connection is about creating things in the material world it's not that your connection is not spiritual but you are here to either create some something through creativity or through different things whatever even spirituality but you're here to manifest in the physical reality some of you will even have children with this person like some of you have in your chart i'm seeing north node conjunct jupiter with this person or just significant jupiter conjunction something like that and you know jupiter is all these things abundance it's spiritual knowledge it's feeling good it's creating procreating children bringing children into this world so i think your connection with this person is very special i think they do have feelings for you and there is a possibility you two will be together um bound by you know your faith and also really creating something very very special together in this world but you have to think what it is because we cannot just get our soulmate um you know if we really ask him for soulmate what i've learned again um is that we need to to see what is it we hear we're gonna give back how we're gonna what we're gonna accomplish so anyway pal number one i think this person has feelings for you i think it's actually a pretty significant connection you probably know yourself so have hope you know like this card says have hope for the future new energies are coming in anyway let's move to pile number two so pile number two i'm very curious what you're gonna get because i think i don't know if this is a pile i picked i don't remember but anyway let's see we have here page of cups we have here dancer of inspiration we have here dancer of frustration king of cups visualize healing no need to worry oh wow king of swords high priestess and king of cups um i think this person does again have feelings for you wow good <laughs> ending of 2018 
um, they they very they can be very insecure and maybe even shy around you. Like when they see you, they suddenly all climb up, and they can be this very brave person. But then they see you, and then they just like you know start acting funny, start acting weird. They need a lot of reassurance. They need you know you to constantly show them how, probably how you feel as well. But I think you know with this King of Swords and King of Cups being here. It's almost like this is a process for them to learn about themselves, to work on themselves very hard and to grow into the energy out of this page of cups into the king of cups. I think the person you're dealing with could be very creative or alternatively, and I don't know why I'm always probably, I don't know, I'm always attracting creative people to my channel. With dancer inspiration and dancer of frustration here, what it shows me that one of you in this connection could feel like they're creatively repressed. Like you really want to be maybe creative, but you don't have time, or you feel like the time is not right, or you feel like there is something like you cannot do, you cannot accomplish. And I feel like this is connected somehow to this connection because guys, don't forget, energy of Venus is love, but energy of Venus is also beauty, sensuality, creativity, arts, and all these things. So when we increase certain aspect of that energy, chances are our relationships become better. Have you ever like noticed, and I know it doesn't always work like that, because sometimes, yeah, you can look your prettiest and still, you know, like it's just not working out. But have you noticed how sometimes you improve something in your life? Let's say you like, you know, even a simple example, you release a creative project it brings you attention and then you have so many suitors <laughs> you know so it's kind of like venus energy doesn't guarantee you that you're immediately going to come into union with your twin flame or soulmate but it does improve your love life a lot so i hope you understand kind of like what i'm trying to say here but we also have here no need to worry and what's interesting we have here king of cups twice in this deck oh wow so it's almost like, yeah, we have two of uh, King of Cups from two different decks. So I really feel that this person has feelings for you. They see you as a very mysterious. You could be a spiritual person. You could be some kind of, a, I don't know, either a healer or somebody who's at least interested in these things. Because we all have, you know, healing abilities in us and spiritual and psychic abilities in us. So they see you as somebody very mysterious. They definitely hold you in a very high regard as well. They're very attracted to you. But I think for them, this is a process now. And I don't know how it really resonates. You probably know better. But there is something about creativity and also frustration and the repression, whether it's creative repression or sexuality repression or just repression of how they feel. Because somebody here is almost even, I feel like they are shy and they're just learning how to express themselves now. Some of them even like going into situations where they feel like they need to build this up, like get extra courage. But the, the angel card for you is no need to worry. So I almost feel like whether it's going to be this person or a different person, you are, you know, you're very worthy of love. You're very beautiful. You're very spiritual some of you are divine feminine maybe even watching this so you will get you know you will get into union with a person who will be worthy of you um there is nothing to worry about i feel like some of you are worried you're wondering will it work out with this person will it not work out with this person will it have a different person you know if it's not going to work out with this person so don't no need to worry and oh my god this is this is annoying <laughs> this lamp so uh, and it's all gonna work out happy 2019 pile number two let's move to pile two, uh, let's move to pile number three <laughs> so pile number three is getting super dark and i'm hoping i'm gonna finish your reading fine okay does they love you first card wheel of fortune we also have here dancer of fear we have here king of wands we have here break free regain your youth and fly we have here regeneration, death and rebirth. We have here be the powerful space between opposite poles. Recovery. Not the right time. No. Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. And death. Wow. For some of you, this relationship with this person ended and it was brutal. It, was, uh, it is also probably a connection that was faded things were faded to happen the way they did with this person i think this person you know very often they acted out of like there, there is a strong fiery presence about them they could be a fire sign leo aries sagittarius they could be just a person who like to have control in every single situation but at the same time as much as they were appearing confident and strong to the world there was a lot of fear hidden in them they were often doing things that you know whether how they were behaving with you or with others 
and on the surface you could see the super strong person super confident but deep down they were very afraid and i almost sense you know for you this the situation ended for many of you here for others of you you know it's just not the right time to be with this person for other people you know, it's just the answer is no for some of you against general reading. So don't, you know, get discouraged. If you know you'll be with this person, you know, you know better. We well, have here a card of recovery. And, you know, like was just with this combination of recovery and also have here death, queen of pentacles, queen of cups, regeneration again, death and rebirth, break free, um, powerful space between opposite poles. I almost feel like for some of you, you were feeling devastated when it ended. But it also was the start of a very important regeneration process for you. It's almost like you started, you know, some of you were spending time with another female near you with like a friend or a mother or just maybe some of you just kind of decided to disconnect from relationships and kind of work on your feminine side maybe join powerful kind of like tribes healing you know where women help each other heal um and i definitely feel you're going through a very intense process of transformation but when the, once this process will be finished it's almost like they're going to be a reverse like you know like a phoenix bird when it ends, you know, it dies, but then it's reborn, almost like from the ashes. And this is your energy here. You could be Scorpio also watching this. So you are learning, like, but through this connection, you've learned your power. So I almost feel like, I don't know, honestly, if for pile number three, you're going to be with this person because a lot of cards here showing at the right time. And no, I feel like this person was meant to be in your life so that you could, most importantly, start a new relationship with yourself, become a new person. They were important catalysts. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy 2019. Hope you like this reading. And it's very brief. I was just trying to, you know, <laughs> feel happy a few minutes and record something for you. So if you need to my channel, please subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram. It's Astro Wonderland. And I'll see you next time. Bye.